Yeah, I'm George Eberts. I'm an instructor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. I teach the nighttime lab classes and the experiential classes. We actually get in the buses and go out in the country and look at the telescopes. This kind of a telescope is called a Dobsonian, and it, uh, because the fellow named John Dobson invented it uh, about 30 years ago. And it just goes up and down, and it swivels back and forth. You steer it totally by hand. There's nothing to plug in, and you can find and observe thousands of nebula galaxies and star clusters and planets with this kind of a telescope. It's, the kind I recommend people get their kids for Christmas instead of the little cheap plastic refractors. This one telescope is the most, it's both the smallest and the most specialized telescope that we have. It's only designed to be used in the daytime. It shows the sun in hydrogen alpha light. Now, if you have a telescope, you want to look at the sun, you buy a sun filter, but you're still using white light and looking at sunspots. This thing looks at the hydrogen alpha line, emission line, deep in the, in the very deep in the red part of the spectrum. The name of this first telescope, uh, the old, obviously oldest one in the collection, is, the, is a Clark refractor. Its aperture or lens size is four inches. It's a modest sized refractor telescope, but Alvin Clark five times in a row made the world's largest telescopes. This one was made in 1888. Every single Clark refractor still in existence is considered a, a very valuable antique. Okay. And the uh, little telescope here is just totally and completely useless. It is a joke. In fact, I tried to I tried to get it to stand up higher, and I broke that plastic thing off. That may be the first time that we ever tried to open up the tripod legs and it broke. I would like for visitors when they leave here today to know that there's a variety of telescopes that you can invest in if you're interested in this kind of thing. And it's easy to get local advice. It's easy to talk to people about the different kinds of telescopes. We have an astronomy club. Uh, and the Department of Physics and Astronomy works closely with it and we have a lot of expertise in the region to advise people about telescope use or getting started in astronomy.